Hey guys, what's up? Austin back here. Third video today. I'm uploading a bunch today. It's probably been my last one, but um, as you can tell, I have the same thing on because it's the same day. But I'm going to go over what I will pack usually if I'm fishing in someone else's boat. This will have me covered. I won't have to ask for anything. This will be a bit of a long video, 20, 30 minutes, so. Well. Also, a lot of this stuff I'll take to a pond. That way I have everything I need. So I'm just going to go through it all and uh, separate the pond stuff from the lake stuff. A lot of that crosses over, but let's get into it. We got a mountain of baits, so stay tuned. Uh, what I take to a pond is something simple very inexpensive like a dollar 25 a pack for like five of them and they are just a standard Senko. this is black and blue i do have some green pumpkin in here i do believe so that's a good pond bait is a Senko. a good another good pond bait and a lake bait if it's a, if it is the right time of year for the lake It's going to be a brush hog. I carry several different colors if I run because I carry a bunch of the same color. That's just what I use. So if they're in here, I'll just throw them out real quick. So if y'all see that, I'm not keeping anything from y'all or not anything. But these is green pumpkin watermelon. These is called pumpkin. And these is called avocado. Well, that and bounce back. Uh, another good pond bait I throw in ponds a lot is just a single tail grub. A lot of people don't know about them. Like they hit the market, then they just quickly went off. But that's just a little single tail grub. Chartreuse pepper, that's a good color. I do like it. Um, so, that's a good pond one. Something that I was, what in the world's in here? Now that is cool. I'm gonna have to do that with all my frogs. I put this, I was fishing a pond, I remember it. I was fishing a pond by myself and I was needing a frog and a worm. Well, I forgot I only had two rods. So I was using a wacky rig and a Texas rig and I was needing a frog too maybe. So I saw that frog in there with my red seed worms and look what it done to the tails, the skirt. That is awesome. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. <laughs> but uh, these are called cherry seed. I'll throw these in a pond. I throw the bigger strike king. I think they are called a red something. So if I run across it, I'll let you all know. It's in the building. I do know that. Red seed. It's a six and a half worm. I, six and a half inch worm. I use that on shaky head. These is us a smaller. This is a zoom finesse. I use that in the pond something downsized and such. I'll also use that in a lake if, uh, see right there's pumpkin brush hogs. But uh, I'll also use that in a lake if I need to downsize. So another good pond and lake bait is going to be the Buddy's Custom Baits. This is a chunk bait. This is called Rotten Avocado. 
it's like a motor oil color and then this is us a pb and j the reason why i say that's a good pond and a lake bait is strictly because it's so small it's two and a quarter inch uh you can throw that on a ned rig you can throw that on the back of a finesse jig and it's just great so just a little bitty curl so i do like that Another good pond in Lake Bay is going to be a package chunk. This is called Sun Perch. Um, something I've never used, I bought because I figured it'd be a good uh, fall and early winter bait. It's called Green Pumpkin Orange. It's by Z Man. It's also an elastic turd. If y'all have watched my videos before, y'all have heard me talk about the turd, the Ned Rig a lot. And I stress Z-Man baits because look how straight that is. And look, you pull it a country mile and I'm actually going to let it go. Salt goes everywhere and it goes right back to the original size. I ain't found a turd to do that yet. So if y'all know of one, let me know. I know uh, Robo makes one, that, but it don't stretch and go back. I know Guggen makes a rattling Ned. I got some of them somewhere here. But they don't stretch and go back. So something I ain't tried is going to be a Strike King Cutter Worm. I figured I could throw out a little Ned rig. But I've not tried it. I keep forgetting about it. Those is in Green Pumpkin. So, um... According to how long it takes me to go through all this, I may go back and go over times of years of some of the baits, not all of them, because that'd be an hour, but uh, t times of year to throw the baits and stuff, um, especially the pond and the lake baits. So, a little swim bait rigged up. Throw that over to the side. But a great pond bait um, year round. A lot of people don't throw them year round, but it's a super fluke. The reason why that is is because you can fish it so di so many different ways. You can fish it on a Texas rig with a bullet weight. That's for your more winter time and such. You can throw it weightless in the summer, fall in the spring. It's white. I suggest why because you can use that to bed fish with too. It's also a good lake bait in the spring because some shads start coming up. You can throw out an animal and just jerk it and make it come on top of the water and die. Come back and then die and then bass us crush it. So um, here is a little gigging bait rattling Ned out of the pack. You can tell you can hear that rattle. These do not stretch. But what is unique about these, they come with that little bee rattle. It's just a little cavity in the back. It goes up maybe half inch, three quarter, and then it's in there. So, throw that over to the side. I get lake bait. I mean, they work in ponds too, but I just had more luck in the lake with them. Is a Domenke. Um, I'm not going to go over how I use it because that's just one of my little secrets there. Actually, yeah, I will. I get a, the smallest VMC moon I had you can get. I get four pound line and a seven foot rod, and I work it fast. So if you don't figure that out, Fast. I'm not talking about reeling. I'm talking about like this. And watch the action of the bait. So, or you can find them on your graph and drop down to them. So, that's a good lake bait. I kind of got to get the majority organized. Something I don't use a whole lot, I bought because it's on sale. I've used one out of this pack, and that's a smoking rooster. 
Don't know much about these. Me and my dad bought the uh, bought some in Green Pumpkin when I was a little kid, like ten, nine year old, nine, ten year old, and I couldn't figure out how to use them. I know you Texas rig them, and he actually caught like five, three pounders that year on them. I just never have been a fan. I'll tell you what I was actually going to do with them. A lot of y'all will laugh. I'm sure a lot of y'all use this. But <clears throat> these is five inches long. They got the coffee scent. But I was actually going to kind of cut the head off like that and use it on the back of a heavier football jig like a half ounce or so and see if I could get bit. I just ain't done it. So I don't know if that'll work or not, but that's how I'm gonna try it. So I would not recommend these, so I'm throwing them out. Um this is a color that is discontinued so it wouldn't make sense to show you all that because you can't get it no more. Get lake and a pond bait. Um, this here is called Bourbon Blaze. It's a Z crawl. I throw that on my Tennessee orange jig and orange crush jig. It's the same exact color but different names. So I throw that. That is a great pond and lake bait too. Um, a bait that I haven't tried, I think I got at a yard sale. It is going to be the 3.5 Cabin Creek Express Crawl. This is in black and red glitter. So, those are thanks for it. No, the 3.5. I literally said 3.5 I read off the pack. But you can throw out on the back of a jig and take your trig out and you can shake your head that. I'm sure you could cut it down. I'll show you. I'm sure you could cut it down. And make a Ned bait out of it. It don't really need to be cut down. But if you want to you cut it down to about right there. You can tell you still got your appendages and stuff. On the lighter head I'd throw that. I'm not sure of the action. So stuff that I don't use I'm not going to recommend. Because I'm not going to have y'all out there buying a bunch of stuff. That I don't know nothing about. So that's in the recommend pile. I mean, non-recommend pile. <clears throat> Something I throw on my um, Cumberland Crawl and Oops jigs is going to be the Watermelon Seed. It's an Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl by Zoom. I got two packs of them because I throw them quite often. That's a good lake and a pond bait. One of the best baits out of this entire thing. If I had to pick three, it'd be a swim bait, a turd, and this right here. This is a finesse worm and green pumpkin by Zane. If you ain't got that in your box, go get you some. You will not be disappointed. You can shaky head it, you can cut it down, make two Ned baits out of it, and I've done all this. Uh, you can Texas rig, Ned rig, shaky head, wacky rig it, Nico rig it. And uh, if you cut it down enough, you could even drop shot it. It is a great versatile bait. So that is an all purpose. Um, this here is just a little bag came up with. I have a bunch of random baits in here. These here I throw in ponds. These is a storm bluegills. So I throw that in a pond. But I also got some lake stuff in here. I don't know why I got a floater in here. Because I rarely believe it fish. But um, stuff I'd recommend right here. You can get them at Saddlebrook Outdoors. You can get them at Dog Patch. And that's going to be one of these knockers. I know a lot of people say, well, it ain't a bait. It has no action. I'm not giving $6 for it. Well... This little six dollar deal will may save you a hundred dollars. I know it saved me more than a hundred dollars. You can lose these, so I suggest buying multiple. I keep 
two to three right there I have three um, if y'all want I can do a video on those like how to put them on your rod get them to slide down if it don't knock it down on the slide how to get it jump back up your line and go back down but uh, that's that. I always keep them with my lake stuff because in ponds it don't really work because you kind of have to be right over it. That way it has that direct straight impact. Something I keep in my lake thing is a pair of snips there. And here is something that I don't go over much, but everybody uses it. Is spike it dipping glow. I keep orange and chartreuse. I do orange on my crawls, get them look more realistic. So, that is in the lake stuff. Alright, we're pushing 16 minutes. Hurry up, Austin. Don't keep them. Another elastic turd. This has garlic in it. I would not suggest opening these in your house or in a truck. I made my dad pure sick when I opened these in the truck. They are just a single tail grub. I am not taking these out because I don't want my room smelling like garlic. So that's something I got to put on the back of a jig in a pond or such. I would not use that on the lake. I would use that chartreuse pepper and the white in the lake and also a pond All right here's that worm i was talking about they call it a finesse worm this is not to no they call that a red bug by strike king it'll look in that it'll be that exact same pack the same exact worm but a different color these is in green pumpkin those go in the lake pile they are six and a half inch and they just on a shaky head they get annihilated so Something I keep, pond and lake, is googan baits. These is a crack and crawl. You can Texas rig them, shaky head them, uh, put them on the back of a jig, and they work great. I do keep a lot of the same color. That's a black and blue there. I do keep green pumpkin also. Um, yoga pants turds lake and a pond i mean turds work anywhere that is um copper truce no nope. that's hot snakes my bad that is hot snakes here's copper truce and it's empty because me and my pastor went to woods creek and that saved me um, more bourbon blaze z curls green pumpkin chunks Put that on the back of a jig, and I actually have put that on a net head and caught fish in a pond. Um, this here is called PB and J. This is a rage crawl by Strike King. You can shaky head it, text trig it, put it on the back of a jig. Most of your bigger crawls, like four and five inch, you can do all that with. So I do keep them on hand at all times. This is June bug. This is a finesse worm by Zoom. I do suggest getting both green pumpkin and June bug or a black and blue. So, oh, uh, let's see. Now we're getting into some stuff here. Now, this here, I do not suggest. I do not suggest. I repeat it myself where I know it because I was trying to emphasize it. So, I do not suggest, third time, getting them right there. These is the uh, Rage Trunk, Rage Chunk by Strike King. It's a Rage Tail. Only thing you can do with that is put on the back of a Ned Head or on Jig. When you can, literally the same price. These is $6.39 and these is $6.39. You can cut them bigger rage crawls down and have that. So I suggest getting a bigger one. That's just a money saving tip. So we got more um, super chunks, more PB and J rage crawls. Um, more net bait packet chunks. And now we're getting into my favorite. 
never, I never, ever, ever go anywhere without swim baits. Swim baits bailed me out every time I needed them, just about. Or I was just fishing in the wrong spot. I keep different sizes, different colors, different brands. Because different brands has different actions. These is a KVD. Ones. These is in a 4 inch. That is in baby bass. I keep them on hand. At least one pack. I keep gizzard shad. At least one pack. And more baby bass. So... I never go anywhere without a swim bait, even if it is just a pond. I have some type, some brand, some size swim bait. Um, these here is going to be more toward your lake. The sizes are 3.8 Kitex. These here is more for your lakes and ponds. I try to keep multiple sizes and multiple colors. Magic Shad is a good one. It's like, it is like gigging baits. Um, Smallmouth Magic for a Kitex. So that's going to be that. That's in 3.3. These is more your finesse ones. These is a Dominke Armor Shad in 3 inch. These is called Baby Bass. I do keep them. I keep bluegill flash strictly for a pond. So, bluegill flash for a pond. I've never lake fish with bluegill flash. Um, these here I got to try. I think it's called moss back or money back. It's a Kitek. It's in a 3 inch. I ain't used them. These here is called... AYU, I call them AU. That there is in like shad that's in the lower, I do believe. Don't hold me to that. I've heard that they're in there. I have no idea. But, uh, come on, Austin, you need to do life research. I know I do. But I ain't using them. So, a color that works well for me, no matter where I have been. This is going to be Electric Chartreuse by Kitek. I love that color. So, I do keep two different sizes in them. And then, here's the last ones. Smallmouth Magic 2.8. Throw out in a pond. Throw out on a lake. Get you a little bee jig head, some light line, and just go to town catching fish. I made like the fourth time I've hit myself on that shoulder. Um... If I'm going bluegill fishing, obviously I have the necessities, little bluegill weights and little bluegill hooks, strictly pond, all that stuff, you Texas rig, I use a lighter weight, 16th, 8th, uh, um, quarter, 316th, and when I'm flipping or punching, I go tungsten because I feel more. So tungsten, I use three eighths, three quarters, a half. But um, and when I'm flipping, can't go flipping without bobber stops. I do suggest these. This is a VMC sinker stops. Very inexpensive. Two bucks. Best ones I've used. I've tried the Eagle Claws, and I just hate them. So. Times a year, I'll be throwing this stuff. If I'm going lake fishing with a brush hog, I'm going to be Texas rigging it or Carolina rigging it in the spring before I'm back to go to bed. So, that's a little tip on those. Uh, times a year for a swim bait, I throw them year round. Um, my bigger ones, like the 3.8s, so I'll throw more in the springtime. Um, the smaller ones, I'll use them year round. So, the turds work year round. Texas rigs and ponds year round. Oh, and before I forget the flukes, um, reason why I said year round is because in a pond you can throw them year round. Now, in a lake, I'll throw them in the spring. 
and that's going to be that. But y'all be sure to like this because I basically exposed you to my whole arsenal that I'm going to be taking pond fishing or lake fishing. I've told you what I'm going to have on the lake, what I'm going to have in a pond. Um, times a year, I'm going to be throwing it and such. But please just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like because I do post pretty knowledgeable content. I do believe um, this here helps not only you beginner anglers, but the experienced ones as well, because that's a good thing about fishing. You will never learn everything about it. Never. I could learn something from one of y'all. I hope I do. Text me on Snapchat or Facebook or whatever. Leave a comment, text me on you on Instagram or whatever. So, <clears throat> if I'm gonna do a little challenge for y'all, well, I'm gonna challenge y'all to do a challenge for me basically. If any of these baits caught your eye, leave in the comment. If you learned anything from this video, leave in the comment. So, um, that way it's kind of one for everybody. If you aren't, you can leave a comment. If you want more videos like this, then make sure to like it. Because if I don't start getting likes, that I don't know what to post. I'm just trying to get stuff out there for y'all to watch, to learn, and to try yourself. But, I'm wrapping it up, guys. This is Austin, and I am out of here. Thank y'all.